Hi everyone, welcome. This is a little bit of a color and chat slash how I'm finishing up this page. Um, I've been missing for a little bit. We've had a new unexpected addition to the family. So we found an itty bitty kitty outside and his mom never came back for him. So I have been doing kitten feedings every two hours for the last eight days. <laughs> and I will tell you, um, I haven't had to get up in the middle of the night for quite some time for children or anything like that. So it is a little rough getting back into the swing of up every two hours and still pulling all layers and whatnot. Um, so that is where I've been, but I am hoping to catch up on some things and get some videos posted, starting with this one. So this is going to be a quick one. Um, I basically just wanted to show you how I'm going to turn this side of the page, that is just my base layer of ink tents, into this side, which is an overcoat of pencil and gel pen. Um, very simple. I also decided I was going to do my trolls all gray. One second. Okay, of course I decided to record and get everything ready and forget to check that my phone is charged. So anyway, um, I was going to do them all gray and then I decided, you know what? might be a great thing to do is to kind of give him a little green and a little brown so he looks like a tree with the gray behind him just so they all look a little different so we will try it out and see how it goes if you hear tiny meows behind me i'm sorry he is fed and everything he just um he's all alone he was the only one so he has a little bit harder time settling down <laughs> so the first thing i'm going to do like i did over here is i'm just going to put in my darkest spots so I'm just going everywhere that I already kind of placed some dark. I'm just kind of pulling it out a little more so I have it. Let's see, without turning my book too much here. So I am going to do right around this rock because if I were looking at the water from this angle, I think the rocks would have a little bit of shadow over the water. So that is why I'm doing that. And same like with this rock right here. And you can definitely tell where I left off on blending um, because I did want to do a video on this. It's just I got so behind on things. So hopefully I can catch up some here. So I am going to kind of go in the crack. This is my second, will be anyway, second completed page out of this book. Um, I did do a buddy color and I finished this one, which I think turned out really well, which you can't really see because my light is so bright because I had it aimed for coloring. So yeah, he's got a gel pen web. There we go. Sparkle Pop web. That was the best way I could think to do it. But I'm really happy with how that one turned out. It is a page I never, um, when I flipped through the book, it wasn't high on my list of pages to color. But it is done and I am happy with it. So I am counting it as a win. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a little bit darker just because I want a couple of these spots just to be a little richer. Um, my paper is a little crinkly from the Derwent ink tents, but only this one little spot went through, and that's just because I accidentally dropped a chunk of water there, and a little right there. Nothing that can't be covered, nothing too serious. Um, so yeah, I do like ink tents in this book. This is my first book I've had with ink tents, so um, for a beginner try, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, then I'm going to pull... This is not the color I want, true blue. And this just kind of pulls it into a watery effect here. Just to make sure I try to get a little bit of everywhere. I want to keep going with the sideways motion, but in these little areas, I kind of have to go back and forth and then I will even it out. Um, so in other news, Easter is coming, so that is exciting. The kids are super excited for Easter. Um, my son got another scholarship. He had one for FFA, and now he has another one, kind of a program to help you um, gear up for college and learn about it and what classes you have to take, and they help you with school supplies and summer camps. So that is exciting. We found that out today. So yeah, it's, it's been busy, it's 
I also have a birthday on Monday. I'm not sure if we're going to celebrate it early. But my oldest boy is turning 14, which hurts to say a little bit because he's getting up there in age, <laughs> which means I'm getting up there in age. Um, so yeah, we got birthday and Easter and Ram Bam, everything kind of all in one weekend. <laughs> videos up. So if there was anything you would like to see or Easter related, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to try to probably wing it. Um, I had a couple Easter pages I was going to pick out to color to do for a color along. Um, but now that I'm a little behind things, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to do or if I will have time to do a whole one. So we will see how it goes. I did get Camellia Androkova's new book, and I did not do a flip because I think there's tons of them already out, but I did go ahead and jump in and do my title page. Oh, and I love it. It's so bright and so pretty. Um, so yes, very excited for that. I could always color a page out of that, I suppose. Um, I tend to overdo my Camellia Androkova pages, <coughs> so they are always very overdone and flashy. But that is the way I like them. Um, one second, I'm going to pull. So this is my little pencil box that just sits on the side of my desk. I know, very, very um, organized and well taken care of. But these are like my most popular pencils. These are the ones that I always have out, that I'm always using. And there's like one of each color of Prismacolor in here. <laughs> the easy access. So I have a pencil case with all my extras, but it is so much easier just to take all the pencils when I'm done with the project and just set them in that little bin until I'm ready again. So I am just adding a little bit of this green. Um, this side is done, but I kind of want to make sure they match because I took a break. One thing about water like this, it is best to kind of do everything in one sitting instead of stopping because you don't want your pressure to change or your colors if you forget what you were using or anything like that, So, which is kind of what I did. But that's alright, we're just going to add a little... Little of this color, just because I like it. Give it a little more of a, a watery color. I think this is carrot green. I'm also excited for Mermaid. I want to do an event for Mermaid. Um, I just haven't decided what because I know there will be a few others going on as well. I may do like million mermaids of some kind event. Yeah, I have a few extra supplies to give away that I no longer need, like a set of Castle Art pencils and things like that. So I figured that would be a good way to get rid of them, would be kind of just have a little giveaway type thing with YouTube and the Facebook group. Okay, now we're going to take our lightest color, light aqua. And I'm not worried about these black lines because I will hide them with the white a little bit. I am just basically coming in, blending all the colors nicely. I don't want no sudden stops. I don't want no lines. I don't want no white spots shining through. Sorry about that, the noise. I did also receive a um, pencil sharpener in the mail from, this one is Jarlink. So I haven't played with it a whole lot. I did try it out, but I am gonna compare it to my Linkio and see what I like better there. Okay, so I have a very abrupt line right here coming out against these rocks. I don't like it. So we're just going to go circular motions and that is going to pull that line out. And then once we get it pulled out a little ways, then we'll blend it a little more. We do want that dark shadow 
but we don't want it to be that abrupt. No lines, no lines. Like even these ones right here, I'm gonna clear out a little bit. No harsh lines. All right, so that is gonna be our water. This side is looking a little darker than the other. Covered the end of my boat, but that's okay. I'll fix it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Arteza gel pen, whatever white gel pen works for you. I have tried many. I also have this Jelly Roll, and I also have a Signo. And they both are very irritating because they are very choppy, especially over the top of colored pencil. And 99% of the time, as long as I don't have too much wax buildup, these gel pens will go right over the top, no problem. Um, my lovely nail is my daughter painted for me, so don't judge me. She's five and she got a, um, a nail set. And it has a little white paintbrush in it and she's checking things out, so figured why not. That's a wild line. Right side, you can always erase it with your finger if you want to. Okay, so yeah. This side, I remembered to keep my lines jaggy. So when I come over here to this side, I'm going to hold my pin straight up and down. And I keep that jag. I'm going to keep that rough water look. We don't want to lose it from one side of the page to the other. Got a couple white caps right there. And you could have put these in while you were coloring. Um, I just felt like this was easier way to go with the effect of the page that I'm going for. If you're going for realism obviously you're gonna want to put those in with pencils this works for what I need it for I'm gonna remember to add some wave splashing right here around this rock we're gonna rough it up we don't want it to be too straight of a line and I already did that one and it actually even looks a little better when your gel pen sucks up some of the color itself. So, always a bonus. So don't worry if your gel pen starts to turn blue or green. It just makes the water look better. Okay, so I'm not going to go through and do all these lines. But I just wanted to show you that that is how I'm going to do that part of the page. Um, so I do have to fix this guy a little bit. He is based with Dermot Ink Pins and then Prismacolor because I went back and changed my mind. And I wanted him to be a little blue. Um, she is going to be my lady and I haven't decided exactly what to do with her yet. But I know this one behind her I want a little darker so she'll stand out. <clears throat> so I think the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my Ink Pins colors and fill in these rocks at the bottom. Um, my desk is a mess. I have so many projects going on. I'm actually very happy to have that spider lady done so that um, I can get all that stuff put away because I've been working on her most of the month. Um, I'm glad to be able to put that away. Happy it turned out. on a roll in this Kirby book already which is um, new to me because usually I am a little timid of Kirby and it takes me forever to get a page done. This one I just jumped in. I was like you know what no fear just going for it. I'm gonna do what I want. Um, so this I'm just putting wherever he has his darkest already built in and I probably will go over it with pencil some when I get that far, but I'm just going to base it real quick. I 
also found out that you can on my other page I used alcohol marker to blend my my ink tints and it worked really well and it did not go through the page so that is good to know I might try it on this one with the rocks um, let me pull a blender marker. I just used a regular old blender. I have a few sets, different sets of markers that have come with a colorless blender. And as far as I know, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference which ones you use. So I just like the juicy ones. This one's even better because it's a brush tip, but I'm going to check. Always check your brush tips. Let me grab a scrap piece of paper here. Um, because sometimes they like to pick up color. Okay. So, and I'm just going to pull downwards. I will cover up that green spot at the top. And right there. But for now, I'm just going to maybe pull it over here so you can see how it's working. And I do like this, and I will show you, hopefully this one didn't go through. I should have checked a little spot, but my other one didn't, even though it says alcohol. I do like the effect of these, like this. So let's check it. No play through. So I will still go over these with pencil, but it is a nicer way to blend a little more controlled, because it's kind of like, you know, using a marker. I'm going to put in a little bit of a darker spot here. So the cool thing is you put in your dark spots, blend it out how you want it, then take your light color that you want to use. Let me find mine now that I just shoved everything around on the desk. Oh, yeah, I didn't put it away yet. And then you just put your highlights in. So the very tops of these rocks are going to be light. I don't want too harsh of a jump here. And I think those are going to look pretty good. And I'm going to add just a little bit more of this back right here. It kind of got lost. I'm going to blend it right over the top of pencil finger blend. And I think that is going to look fantastic. So that is what I'm going to do for all these rocks. And look how pretty it looks when it dries. It looks a little dark when you're first starting, but it dries beautiful. So this is a great way to just kind of base things. Oh, sorry, got the marker caught in the charging cord. Okay, so there's that one. And like I said, whenever you're done, you just go back, put in your darker spots again. You can even pull a darker color if you need to. And I am caught in the cord again, so sorry. I would have planned better, but I didn't actually plan on using the charger until it was too late. So, questions or comments, please leave them down below. Anything you would like to see, or anything like that. Content suggestions are always welcome as well. And I hope to see you over the holiday, I don't want to call it weekend, but I guess it is a holiday weekend. We will hopefully have some kind of coloring page up. I really like how that's turning out. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next video.